What I want for this place in the future is to be protected forever. My name is Antoine. I'm a director and photographer with a big interest in wildlife and marine life. And this adventure was definitely one of the best experiences I lived with animals. With my friends Erika and Rafael, we spent 10 days in the Galapagos Islands, close to the coast of Ecuador in the Pacific Ocean. We wanted to show the beauty and uniqueness of this place, but also how fragile this paradise is and how important it is to preserve Galapagos. On our journey, we met scientists who fight every day for the preservation of marine life. In here, you have 90% of all the animals around the world in just one single place. You can go to any place in the islands and you can for sure swim with sea turtles, warranty. That means that the Galapagos is still in good shape in terms of environment. We started to understand the problems Galapagos are facing. Even if the islands look healthy and pristine, the Galapagos ecosystem is in danger. We were in one of the most pristine areas in the islands. We were in Marchena and Pinta. No tourism, nobody goes, no fishermen, nobody. The only people around were us. And because we have a special permit as a scientist to go there. And you saw it. You saw it, how full of trash, how full of plastic mainly was some of those islands. And you are like, how come? I mean, how come? It's apocalyptic. Actually, the Galapagos was the first place in South America that banned single-use plastics. Where is this garbage coming from? It's really hard to see all this plastic on the beach. The plastic doesn't come from here. Even if they try hard, the people of Galapagos don't have control over their own environment. Because that means that that blue we can see today here is full of plastic. Galapagos is a witness of how bad is the entire planet because if this pollution arrives to the Galapagos, it means that the entire planet is affected. No? What are you doing here? The idea is to measure how much macroplastic we found in 50 meters in this specific point. But when you come to somewhere where nobody ever comes, and you see all the trash and all the waste from the whole world moving around because of the wind or the currents. It's just sad. It's just sad because at the end of the day, this is like the worst people or the worst species that are going to suffer are animals and humans at some point. These people showed us what microplastic is and how uncontrollable it is. You took a plastic cap that has been there you touch it, in the moment that you touch it, was microplastic. That is the future for all the plastic that we see, that we use, that we cannot recycle. That's the future of microplastic. Right now, microplastic is in the air, in the water, in the animals. It's everywhere. Now the next question is, what is going to happen for the future? That is going to affect our health. During our trip, we also jumped on a mission to these two remote and completely pristine islands in the north. We're trying to look for the area where we can catch the sea turtles. It's an easy job, but you need to have patience. So it's a nice, nice day, so I have patience. The goal was to catch sea turtles, which is actually not that easy. First, we needed to bring the turtles on board to collect important scientific data. For example, the scientists needed to understand the feeding patterns of the young turtles. And then, by extrapolation, the scientists can access how many turtles ingest pieces of plastic, or how many die in abandoned fishing nets. In order to fight ocean plastic, we need to know how big the problem already is.
our research was the base ground in order to ban single-use plastics in Galapagos. To expand the research on the turtles, we filmed their movements and filling habits with a camera we put it on their shell. And after a few hours we were able to take back the camera and all the information needed. Suddenly we encountered this young sea lion who was entangled in a fishing net on the beach. This happens a lot because many industrial fishing stuff are left abandoned and become dangerous traps for my life. But luckily we were able to free these young sea lions. The days spent in the Galapagos Islands were a dream come true for us. We saw and lived much more than we could have imagined. After what we've seen, we can say that there is no other place like this on Earth. It's completely unique. But Galapagos also reminds us how fragile and endangered this paradise is. The animals that come and breed here, that develop, and without it, then we will lose the nurtured place for all the species in the world. And if we don't preserve it, it's gonna be destroyed. And what will the future generations will have? It's sad, but I think it's still hope. The best that you can do is try it. If you see a, an item in the supermarket that is wrapped in plastic and you can choose an item that is not wrapped in plastic, do it. No matter if you are the perfect vegan, plastic-free person, because that is impossible. But at least you try it. Imagine 7 billion people trying, it's gonna make the difference.